good early morning. We're so glad you're here. If you like vlogs, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Look at this hair. Woo! Started off last night's, or ended last night's vlog. The crazy hair starting this vlog off crazy here. That's right, it's like 5.30 in the morning. It is dark out still. This is Belmont Harbor. I usually show you guys that. Full of beautiful boats, but it is dark. It is early. We're gonna get 10 miles on my legs today, so let's go. The sun's beginning to creep up over there. I am. Near the skyscrapers. Look at this beautiful, beautiful city. The moon popping up right there. Hello. I got one more mile before I turn around and head back home. It's a beautiful morning. Not too cold. And no humidity. That might change when the sun comes up, but I got plenty of time for that before it like truly breaks through the cloud cover. Whew. All right, seven miles down, three to go. There's the sun coming up across the horizon behind some clouds, looking big and gorgeous. So I think I will have timed this properly to never have been running into the sun on this 10 miler. Three miles to go, gotta get home. Jim's wanted to go on a walk this morning, so he got his shoes on and we're in his favorite store, Jewel. And he wanted to get mom some pumpkin donuts, so. That's how we're starting off our Wednesday. Jamesy, we're gonna sit outside of Jewel and have this snack this morning. Because sometimes you get to just do fun stuff like that, right? Whoa. <laughs> wow. We are on our nap walk and everybody's asleep, which is great. Okay, I had to make sure the car was gonna stop as I crossed the street. Um, but yeah, today, today feels like one of those days where just surviving is okay. It happened. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do during this nap time, but it's been a success, so that's good. What color eyes do we think Teddy's gonna have? I don't know, I don't know. So I got the vlog edited, Teddy took a nap, Jamesy is still napping. We're feeling refreshed. We're feeling refreshed. <gasps> wow. Wow, we're in the tent hiding from Jamesy. 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 James. <laughs> oh no, here it comes. <laughs> You love the tent? Wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! We got a cute kid here playing with some tape. Ooh, nice. Tape mustache. We got some Casey Neistat old vlogs on in honor of their move back to New York City. Talk more about that later, but so excited for that. I make the best towers, and James is the best destroyer of the towers. I just tried one of Peter's non-alcoholic beers. If you did not know, I do not drink alcohol, and I never have. I've only done like, I like take little, like I've taken little sips or like little tastes, but I've never like had an alcohol drink, like my own. Um, like I said, just a taste. It really is not f for me. Obviously, I just <laughs> took a taste of that and it's just not my jam. I 
some people ask me why. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. This is not what I expected to talk about. Um, I just have never been drawn to it. I've never been interested in it. I think it's a control thing. I just like, I don't have the desire to not be in control. Um, but yeah, I like pop, I like energy drinks, I like tea, I like all sorts of fancy drinks. Um, but oh, whatever I just had was not good. Um, as always, I'm just putting off getting on the Peloton, but I'm gonna get on. Teddy just fell asleep. Um, the boys are hanging out. And I have no idea what sort of class I'm going to do today. Another frequently asked question I get, is has it always been this way or did I like decide to stop drinking and I have never drank like not in high school not in college just never have um but I would go to parties I would go to bars I would go out and be around alcohol a lot it is not like I avoided alcohol in my life I just chose not to partake in drinking myself um so that's just a little, a little tidbit if you did not know that about me. All right, I am in. I got my water. I really want to do a live ride soon. I just like don't pay attention to those. Um, but that's in an hour with Cody. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to pick something that's not in German today because I, I keep on doing that by accident. I think I am going to do a ride with Cody I've decided to try this 30 minute intervals and in arms ride. So I have the weights that come with the Peloton. Um, first time I'm doing one of these, so wish me luck. Trust yourself, believe in yourself, value yourself, value yourself. Don't sell yourself short. Resist it, 50 to 70 in the saddle, let's go. All right, we want to soak up the last bit of sun before the sun goes down. So nice. It's like a low 70s, high 60s with the wind. We're also taking a walk to our local Whole Foods to grab a snack on the way home. And we need like a base noodle or something. Yeah, we need to like, we need something to put our leftovers from yesterday up. And we also need trash bags. And they usually have extra varieties of athletic brewing company here. So I want to scope that out. We were alerted by the hot bar. We might just get a bunch of this for dinner because we are so hungry and it all just looks so good, so. We're just going for it. All right, we got some hot roll stuff for dinner Ooh. slash snacking on on the way home. So it was iron, the uh, mac and cheese, and that was really the winner. It was like, we saw that and it was like, <laughs> oh, yep, uh-huh, we're getting that for sure. Delicious? Mm-hmm. Our quick, our quick run to get pizza. We were just like, phooey. Get the pizza that's ready made too. Close. Is it closed? Closed. Maybe just close Monday. It's Wednesday. Why do I think it's Monday? I don't know. And we are home. And we've got Adventures by Disney on. Going out We're eating our delicious mac and cheese. Every Having a good time. The ridiculousness continues. Oh. <laughs> Happy Camper Pizza has arrived. Woo! I wanted to clarify. So we're all getting ready for bed. It's a little early. It's about 8, 10. Well, it's around the same time we start getting ready for bed. I am James's toothbrush with some toothpaste. Rupert keeps an eye on it while we read books and his floss. Um, so what we do is we read like one or two books while Rupert watches them. Then we brush James's teeth. Um, and then we read like one or two more books depending on how tired he is. Um, but the Happy Camper Pizza was delicious. Um, we <laughs> I, we jokingly said we're going to get that. We're going to Uber eat some pizza when we were walking home from Sci Pie and it was closed. And there was actually a BOGO deal. And we had some money left over in Venmo. Um, so that's what that ended up happening. We didn't have all the pizza. We had some of the pizza and then we saved the rest for like snacks and lunch and or dinner for tomorrow. So that's what happened there. Uh, Teddy was kind of out of sorts. He was just like exhausted. You know how babies get like that sometimes. So Sarah's actually trying to lay down with him and to put him down potentially for the night. Maybe if not just for, you know, maybe a, a preliminary sleep. So uh, I just changed James' his diaper, got him in his pajamas. He's watching the Ballinger family right now. 
I'm going to collect him and we're going to read some books, brush teeth, read some more books, and then turn off the lights and put him to sleep before um, a night of editing a vlog and getting a lot of laundry folded. We have like, we have so much clean clothes right now, but none of us folded or put away. So um, the intent is I'm going to do dishes. Sarah's going to put down Teddy, edit. I'm going to do dishes. Should I guesstimate it's going to take me about 60 minutes or an hour. Some people say that. Um, and then I'll come out to the kitchen or the living room and start folding laundry until Sarah's done. And she'll hopefully join me to finish the folding of all the laundry. All right, after like an hour, a little over an hour of dishes, that's all done. Living room is tidied. Now I have the world's largest mound of clean clothes that needs to be folded. I'm basically just gonna do this until Sarah's done editing the vlog. I got trout and coffee on, the TV, monitor on my phone. We're gonna see how much we're gonna get through. Look at this pup just supervising the laundry. Were you just thrilled with the news today? Let's see if you know one of them. That's one. <laughs> that is good news. <laughs> um, we got a Yatsman Steakhouse reservation for our Disney trip for November today. We didn't get the other reservations we wanted, but we're hoping just to walk up to Topolino's and Ohana. No, Casey is moving back to New York City. Oh, <laughs> you said we would talk about it later in the vlog, and here we are later in the vlog. Well, we're pumped. We're very pumped. I hope he puts out some more videos, and my favorite part was the end with, um, with his dear friend. Why can't I think of his name right now? I'm terrible with him. <laughs> his UPS driver. <laughs> And pal, um, saying hi. So, Harlow, Marlow, something like that. Marlin. Marlin. Um, Peter's still folding. I'm gonna finish up the vlog, and we're gonna head to bed. I'm proud of us. In the recent, I guess. Yeah. In the recent past, we've been totally like, let's just go to bed for like a week. We've been putting off. Now some of the stuff. The world's largest pile of clean clothes unfolded in the world. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> <laughs>